Hello, I'm Greg Bird of Colbus UK, and today I'd like to spend the next few minutes talking to you about the basic book part construction of a case-bound book. First of all, the first part I need to discuss is book block preparation, and that can involve any of our range of Colbus KM binders. It will take either collated folded sections, or indeed collated single sheets from any digitally printed press. The first stage is to apply the end papers. Now the end papers are commonly a four page sheet which is made of slightly higher GSM paper than the text paper itself. One is simply applied to the front of the book and one is also applied to the back of the book. Ideally the end paper needs to be applied three or four millimetres away from the spine to allow for various spine preparation operations to take place without damaging the important fold of the end paper which ultimately contributes to the strength of the book itself. Once the end papers are applied, the next operation is to prepare the spine, and this may involve removing certain millimetres of the spine or indeed roughing up the paper to provide better adhesion. Once that's been carried out, we then apply adhesive, and that can either be cold PVA, PUR hot, and even hot melt. Once this has been carried out, we then apply a very straightforward spine lining. This is placed onto the spine of the book and ultimately pressed through the delivery of the binder to provide a perfect book block with lining and end papers applied. The end papers will ultimately be pasted out and used to adhere the book into the case. The next stage of cased book production is case making. Cases can be made on our range of DA case makers and we can either produce a flexible spine case such as this one or indeed a solid hardboard spine case such as this. The flexible case is used when we're rounding and backing the book block to ensure that the case fits snugly around the spine of the book. As you would expect, the hard board spine strip is used when producing flat back books. The constituent parts are first of all the covering material, which can be either printed paper such as this one, or traditional book cloth such as this. Along with the covering material, we need two pieces of grey board, front and back, of course, a spine lining, and the spine lining can either be flexible or indeed solid in this case. The case maker will line the inside of the cover with a hot adhesive and then position exactly the boards and the spine strip, allowing for an adequate shoulder to wrap around the book and be pressed. The pressing stage, I'll explain later, in stage three, casing in. If we're using traditional book cloth, then there is another finishing stage. We want to achieve an embossed finish. To do that, we'll need an embossing press, some metallic foil, in this case gold, and a brass original such as this. Once that's carried out and the cloth is pressed onto the boards and the spine strip, there is no uh, drying time needed and the case is now ready to move on to the casing in stage. The final stage of case book production is casing in. This is where the book block and the case finally come together for the first time. Just before casing in, we need to trim the three edges of the book block we've just prepared, the head, the tail and the fore edge. So we now have an adhesive bound book block where every leaf is free to be inspected. Once that's happened, we then may wish to shape the spine, as you can see in this example here. This is an example of a rounded and backed book which will fit inside a case made with the flexible hollow. The book can also be left completely flat, such as this example, and this would fit inside a case with a hard board spine strip. The next operation is headband and tailband attachment. The head and tail bands are attached to a secondary lining, which is then glued and placed onto the spine of the book. Just before the book finally meets the case, we also like to uh, place a line of adhesive on either side of the book, just below the spine. This is so when ultimately the book is pressed, the shoulders of the case are held in place by the adhesive. Finally, the end paper on the front and the back will be coated with a paste adhesive. This will then be positioned perfectly inside the case. The case 
smooth down over the book block to ensure no air is trapped between the book block and the case. And finally, the case will be pressed onto the book block and the joint pressed into the front and the back to ensure a natural hinge for the book to easily be opened. It's very important also to remember that the spine of the book is not attached to the case. This ensures the book can be laid on the table and opened fully. Finally, we can also automatically apply a book jacket to the book so we have the finished product. And then from that stage, it can then go on to either be individually shrink wrapped in a presentation film, such as this example, or indeed bulk stacked for onward transit.